Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to have a PowerPoint and presenter view when splitting a screen on a PC with the Resource Materials and Technology Center for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Although in this tutorial we are showing how to split your screen with half of the screen using an auto-generated captioning option, as a reminder, auto-generated captions do not provide equal access to those who may need a professional quality captioning option. Accessibility is mandated and expected by state and federal agencies for supporting listeners who may not be able to fully access auditory information. Pictured on the slide is an infographic that reads, if you're tasked, don't ask. Asking participants, do I need to use the microphone or use captions? At a conference or gathering requires them to self-identify. Some people won't admit to needing this accommodation. State and federal agencies are tasked, see required, to provide access as per ADA and sections 504 and 508 of the Rehabilitation Act. Hi guys, my name is Scott Walsh with the Resource Materials and Technology Center for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. For this tutorial, we're gonna be demonstrating with a um, PowerPoint presentation and a web page. So before we get started, I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna to navigate to our top um, ribbon up here and select Slideshow. And then we're gonna come down and go to Setup Slideshow. You'll be presented with this window. I want you to come down underneath of show type and select the middle button, browse by an individual window. And we're going to come down and select OK. Now we're ready. All right, so we're going to come to the top of our, of our PowerPoint and we're going to click on the top link and hold it and drag all the way down to the bottom right hand corner. Don't let go until you'll see a middle line in your screen. And then you can let go there and it will fill the first half of your screen with your PowerPoint presentation. The second half is going to be any other windows or web pages or web browsers that you have open at that current time. For this model, I'm gonna select Web Captioner and I'm gonna come down here and do Start Captioning. So once I select the Start Captioning button, it should pick up everything that is being presented at this time, whether it's me or anybody else coming through my speakers on a virtual platform or in a virtual setting. Now that I have captions up, I wanna navigate over to my PowerPoint. From here, I'm gonna go present from beginning and I'm gonna select this, this icon up here and it will fill the second half of my screen and I'm gonna minimize my video a little bit so you can see. And it will allow for the audience that you have to have access to captions as well as to have access to your presentation. Now you can take this window and we can upload this into or share this into a virtual environment like Zoom, like Microsoft Teams, um, to allow for accessibility for students to be able to not only access your um, spoken voice, also your face as, as your camera pops up in one of those virtual environments, but now you're also integrating um, automatic captions. So if they miss something, they can go back and read their um, read text or follow along in the text as you are presenting. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can keep in touch with us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. And we have a Vimeo and YouTube channel with lots of videos of our presentations, our TA Live webinars, and some additional videos demonstrating working with students who are DHH or other tutorials. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at info at rmtcdhh.org.